Okay, well, the AMC drama Mad Men won its second Emmy for Best Drama this week. It's set at an ad agency in the early 1960s, a time of great change for the industry that some say is being repeated today. Well, Jerry Della Femina was working at Madison Avenue in the Mad Men days and is currently the CEO and executive creative director at Della Femina, Rothschild, Jerry and Partners. And he joins you now, a legend really in the advertising industry. Jerry, an honor to have you with us. Good to be here. And you say that Mad Men is tame compared to what you experienced in the 60s. Oh, yes. First of all, they have it set in the wrong, at the wrong time. The Mad Men era was really the 50s. The 60s was really the creative revolution. Mm. But they, I, they, uh, Oh, this, it's so much milder than the business really was. And is it, uh, are we fo coming full circle again? I mean, in terms of just, you know, the, 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 the term, the change in the ad agency business. It's, the, the business has evolved. It is now the business of the bean counters. It's a, it's a business of people who are checking. When I started in advertising, in that bad man era, I, I was in a mail room. They had 27, 27 kids in the mail room. Now, if you find one male boy in any agency, you're lucky to find Or anywhere, really, yeah. Uh, anywhere. Okay, okay, so then, so in that sense, when you say that it's, you know, the bean counters have taken over, are you saying that creativ creativ creativity, I guess is the word, and that has gone down then in this business, or what? It's changed, because now we have, you know, we used to have special effects. I mean, I, we did a commercial with a singing cat, and the cat... You're talking about Meow Mix. Yeah, Meow Mix, and the cat was choking. Uh, so we put music to it. <laughs> the cat lived, don't worry. We did the cat Heimlich maneuver on it. Uh, but the cat lived, but now we have special effects and they could just give you that same effect without losing a cat. <laughs> okay, well then these days then, I mean, what is going to drive ad growth? I mean, you've said before that a large part it's driven by, by industry wars or, or wars, or actually wars within industries between companies. I mean, are you seeing that right now? Is that, is that happening? You're seeing less of, of the war. There was a time when there were the beer wars, when uh, Ryan Gold yes. fighting Schlitz. There, there was the FedEx versus UPS. And, and McDonald's versus Burger King. McDonald's versus Burger Coke King. Coke Pepsi, yeah. Oh, Coke Pepsi, all of this added up to money for advertising agencies. First of all, agencies make so much less than they did from a client. We used to get 15 cents on every dollar that was spent in the 1960s. That's why the Mad Men were always smiling. Uh, you know, now it's, With the three martini lunches. Oh, yeah, they couldn't stop smiling after three martini lunches. Then it was, then it was now it's uh, literally seven cents for every dollar. Sometimes it's five cents. Advertising agencies are scrambling, and the fact is it's a mature business, and as a mature business, we're finding new ways to make money, and, and the answer to, all, to it all right now is it's the internet, it's, it's digital, we're going into this world, and every client now starts a meeting by saying they want to be, they want something to get people to their website. Mm. Uh, in the old so days. that's been the big game changer then by tremendous far tremendous game changer tremendous game changer and do you under i mean do you do you find credibility in the new marketing campaigns the new types of ad campaigns where it's about viral marketing it's about you know it, it's not about a big media you know big ad blitz but it's about a sort of targeting niche consumers it's smart it's tested and it works. Sure, I, I, I like it. I mean, it really does work and it's a new way of doing things. Uh, you know, newspapers are not, I mean, newspapers are dying. Mm -hmm. uh, in, those, in, 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 the, in the time of the Mad Men, you wanted to get a full page ad in Life magazine. Right. Magazines are dying too. Uh, that's changed. That's changed. Now you want to, you know, you want to come up with a viral campaign that everybody talks about, and you want to spend as, as little money as you as you can on it. And Jerry, speaking about those uh, ad industry or those ad wars be, uh, within industries, I mean, do you see any on the horizon? I mean, what would be the next industry you think that we could see an ad war? Well, it's going to be in, in, in the internet area. I mean, it's you, you could see it starting with uh, with AT and T versus uh, uh, you, you're talking about you're talking about uh, rival companies in in the internet business. You see it Apple versus uh, 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 micro. You know, so you, you, you're seeing right now uh, their version of the wars, but it's not as passionate. Yeah, they're not spending as much money. Uh, and and you know, the fact is that, that we spent a lot of money. The, the thing that, that, yeah. that made people laugh, made people wild okay. in, in the early days was it was Mad Men. Yeah. We were winning. Okay. Jerry, thanks so much for joining us. Jerry Delafamina.